Hi folks, Ron Thompson here from Maxwell Capital Realty and our topic of discussion today is what's better, crashing in a helicopter or buying your first house. So as somebody who's had experience in both of those areas, I thought today I would uh, just discuss them and try and give you some insight. Let's talk about helicopters first. I just started this clip off with a little brief thing on some footage I shot when I was up with the 5th Me Mechanized Brigade Group about 18 months ago up in uh, Combat Training Center Wainwright. Now, the whole idea is to give you a little bit of a flavor of what it's like to be in one of those helicopters. Now, if you want to see the full clip, it's on my YouTube channel, no problem. So, what um, we're talking about here today is many years ago, about 38 years ago, it was very similar. Like when I was up 18 months ago, it was like I was back 38 years ago flying around in these things. Now I was doing an aid to civil power exercise and I was assessing all of the guys that were doing their, their job and um, so I had to uh, be in a helicopter over top of them so that they could see what was going on and I could assess them properly. Now the um, helicopter was doing fine, there's about 1500 people below us and all of a sudden uh, the back bulkhead got really really warm and I looked over my shoulder and oops it's smoking not only that poof, caught fire so I let the pilots know and as soon as they did they went turned looked and then started heading for the airport and because they didn't want to go down on top of people 1500 people with a helicopter burning it's great now if you really want to stop a riot set your helicopter on fire right over top of the riot and everybody looks up yeah it's funny but anyway we were heading for the airport i was busy with a fire extinguisher over my shoulder trying to put out the fire and away we went we went down now about halfway there and it's a good thing the airport wasn't very far away uh we lost power so we lost power so we ended up i'm sorry i apologize taxpayers it was your helicopter we bent it uh, auto rotation coming in and it really has an impact on the well the landing gear went so anyway door flew open the fire department was there they foamed it just as an aside you can't breathe in, a, in foam you just kind of go out, 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 out no air right and so we ended up walking away from that now for me that wasn't a scary experience it wasn't for the pilots either but we were in the mess later on. And I gotta tell you, a few hours later, having a beer, couldn't find my mouth. That's when it got scary. Okay, let's talk about buying a house. This is different. Now we are looking at anticipation. All that debt, oh my God. We're going to take on hundreds of thousands of dollars in debt. The worry, the loss of sleep. How can we do this? We can't do it like our parents did. No, it can't be possible. It's virtually impossible. Now, everything's different now from when my parents were kids and they bought their houses. Well, not so much. You see, the media likes to tell you all Canadians have got too much personal debt. It's three times higher now than it's ever been in history. And it's terrible. But they don't tell you the other half of that equation. The other half of that equation is three times debt, 10 times assets. So we can manage the debt. It's quite manageable, thank you very much. Big difference from student loans though. You're investing in yourself. You think about it, you go through the process. You go and you put an offer in a house. Now, it's really nervous to put an offer in a house. You're working with your spouse and you talk about it forever and you talk yourselves out of it for years sometimes, years, when in fact you should be getting in, into the market. And I say that because you sit there, you sign the offer, it's conditional upon financing and all sorts of other good things. And that is great. Then what you do is you go to the bank. Now here's the tricky part. Now you're signing the big mortgage document. <gasps> Ooh, now it's hundreds of thousands of dollars for 40 years. Oh my God, we're, we're, we're trapped. This is way worse than student loans. And so you sign it in, I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, I thought the same thing I did. Um, uh, you can't recognize my signature on the mortgage document I signed. I was so nervous when I signed it. Um, 
But anyway, you fret, fret and fret and fret. After the fact, you second guess yourself. Is this the right place? Blah, 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 blah. And then you get the call from the realtor. Okay, time to close. You meet the realtor at the house on the front st uh, step. And uh, right at the stroke of noon, the realtor hands you the keys and you take them and you put it in the lock. You open the door. You turn to your spouse because you see on their face exactly what's happening to you. It strikes home. It's that this is your home. You can reach out and touch the door. You can look around, see the yard. That's a really nice yard, by the way. And I'll tell you, it is amazing. A transformation happens. You suddenly realize that you're not in a situation where you're giving away your monthly rent to somebody else. You're paying you. You're stabilizing your family, the wealth in your family, your future. It is fantastic feeling, folks. It's unlike anything you would have ever known. Don't delay. If you qualify when you're 25, 26 years old, get into the market. There's lots of ways of doing it. It doesn't matter what you're buying. It'd be low end, that's fine. We all started there. Our first house was $40,000. I won't, don't even want to describe it to you. But the whole thing is to start the process. Start building on in you and investing in you and your family and your future. So folks, that's what we as realtors do. We help you get there. We will walk you through the process. As somebody who's crashed into helicopters, bought their first house and done all of that sort of stuff, it's my job to make sure you have a very wonderful experience and get out the other end. So there's the difference. Crashing in a helicopter, eh, no upside. Buying your first house, huge upside, huge. That's investing in you and your own wealth. So folks, give me a call. Ron Thompson, Maxwell Capital Realty, 403-801-5926. 403-801-5926. And one last thing, don't go out try putting uh, crashing in a helicopter on your bucket list. Or if you do, make sure it's the last thing because you, you may not be around to fill up the rest of the bucket list. Just say it. Have a good day. Bye-bye.